Hi guys and girls on YouTube. I don't usually do videos on car repairs, but I've got a common problem here with my Fiat Punto. And um, we move around here, you see the problem. Back door doesn't open, but if you yank it, it will come open. Um, so I've got all the lock out. Um, that's the lock out. Let's just. Uh, Let's take this bit inside and I'll show you what the problem is. Right, so that's the uh, that's the door handle and the lockout. Um, if you if I pull the handle up, you'll see that lever operates that. Uh, now that's what the problem is. Uh, it's poor design. If you look at that, um, so the camera comes into focus. And you see a great big gap between that before that touches that um, before the lever touches there's a big gap so what we need to do just see if we can get a better picture we need to get rid of that gap by adding a piece of plastic on now just to give you a general idea that's a piece of plastic I cut from the back of a TV somehow we need to fasten this under there um, and that will cure the problem so uh, let's uh, let's have a look see what we can do you can actually see the gap now see that that great big gap under there where that plastic goes that is what's causing the problem right now because this piece where it moves up and down is not flat it's actually curved what you need is a black and decker hot air gun and um, you warm up your piece of plastic till it's nice and soft and then you push it into that exact shape um, so it goes onto there so when we've trimmed it off we've got to find a way of fastening a piece of that onto the top of there um, we're going to actually fasten it onto that bit there right so that's the repair piece made up um, and if you can see it's uh, it's actually bent now so it's an exact fit so all we've got to do now I'll stop the camera from falling over is find a way now of fastening this piece fastening this piece onto the top of there um, and as you can see when that goes on there that will take up that gap so um, that's the answer, that's your repair piece there. So I'll just find a way of fastening that on now and we're done. Right, so that's the finished repair. Um, so if you look at that, what I've done is I've uh, roughened up the surface, I've super glued it on. Uh, now don't rely on super glue alone because the chances are it'll come off. But um, it stayed super glued enough to drill a little hole and put a nut and bolt through like that and then um, a little bit of careful plastic melting um, round there with a soldering iron and as you can see um, it's absolutely perfectly fitted now in fact it doesn't look that much out of place and if you look under there uh, under there now the gap we had before it's completely gone so now when you pull the handle moves up and down so um, and you can see there where I've done some careful plastic melting with a soldering iron um, yeah well that's looking good so let's fit it back on the car and see if it works Right, so there we go. Um, just a quick smear of grease on the top where the uh, arm contacts that plate. And uh, that's it, we're done. I'll fit it back in the car and see if it works. Now, in case you're wondering where I got that two millimeter thick piece of plastic from, well, in case you've not watched any of my other videos, um, I'm a TV repairman. So I actually got it from the back of a scrap TV. And uh, here's the back of the TV in question. And, um, you can see there where I cut it from. 
So yeah, let's uh, fit it back in the car then, see what happens. That's just the back of an old TV, scrap TV. Right everybody, so that's the result, watch this, one finger. All we've got to do now is do the other side. But if you yank it, you can get it open. Yeah, so there you go guys, thanks for watching. Um, I don't usually do car videos, but uh, there we go, all sorted. See you in the next video.